Hi guys, how's it going? Chris Graham here with my main man Marco here. We're talking football league. It's been a great few days in football. We're 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 convening here the day after an extraordinary tuna win that captured the nation, <laughs> captured the full of guts and glory and, and everything else. Yeah, Scotland, great win, great win, <laughs> wasn't it? Great win. Absolutely. Very predictable, Chris. Oh, <laughs> so I'm still so happy about that. Yeah. We'll win you in 2006. World Cup can get lost. Anyway, we're here in the Sporting Bet engine room, talking odds here tonight in the Football League. Mark, you, you, you just expressed to me a minute ago that you're not feeling that confident this week. Yeah, it might be because I got zero from three last week. Um, oh. Some extraordinary results last weekend in the Football League. Mm -hmm. uh, three sackings as well. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So plenty to talk about. Not enough for this. But um, yeah, 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 I found it a little bit difficult. I think I'm just on a bit of a low ebb from last weekend. Cool. He's been on a very romantic few days with his girlfriend <laughs> as well. So he's, he's very, very chilled out. Uh. Anyway, uh, uh, be she cool. watches this as well. She does, she does. Oh. She does. Hi, hey, Kimmy. Anyway, <laughs> anyway uh, Championship. Uh, and you're, you're <laughs> skipping your name, it's Notts, Notts Forest against Bournemouth is, is the match you've selected. What, what's, what's, what's your call them Notts Forest. Yeah? What do you call them? Oh, Nottingham Forest or Forest. Notts County fans. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> okay. I'll go away. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think Forest, the team I expected to do quite well this season, but um, I've just got to bring this up. They're in the top six and they're going well, but um, earlier today I retweeted a link um, from the Nottingham Post website, which I've got to say is one of the most bemusing, extraordinary, quite insulting, embarrassing pieces I've ever read from a Forest fan. Yeah. Um, they've won six, drawn four, lost one of their first 11, four points behind QPR and Burnley, I remember, but reading this article you'd think they're 20 points clear. Um, I'll just a couple of quotes. Um, coming from a town known for little more than its seaside frivolities, the cherries may feel more than a little dazed by the grandeur and history <laughs> of their famous opponents. Oh. Eddie Howe's minnows may be just be four places below. Billy Davis is unstoppable machine. Um, the South Coast side are inferior in almost every way. It's just it's remarkable really. Um, I mean, Forest have won three, drawn one at home. The cherries have only won one, lost three away. Uh, Forest should, of course, win this match, but they're far from an unstoppable machine. And I'm backing both teams to score here on the back of that because Bournemouth have scored in all 11 league matches so far this season. Uh, so eight of their 11 games have seen both teams score. Uh, that's included heavy defeats at Watford and Huddersfield. If you remember, uh, eight of their 11 games have actually seen over two and a half goals. So they're a great team to follow for goals. Um, and Forest are far from solid, as I mentioned. Um, just one clean sheet in eight games now after they started the season with three consecutive shutouts. Barnsley and Middlesbrough have both been to the city ground and scored twice. Uh, they've also leaked away at Charlton and two at, at Doncaster, both teams struggling as well at the wrong end of the table. So I rate Bournemouth as quite a decent mid-table team, always good to watch for goals. They'll come with a uh, with intent to score goals and, and attack Forest. And, um, so, uh, also, in spite of that article as well, I think both teams are scoring yeah, eight yeah, to yeah. eleven. I don't think Billy Davis would have banned that guy. You know that? No, no, no. from the press room. It's well worth reading though. It's actually extraordinary. Oh, professional journalist. Yeah. No, no, I think it's a, a Nottingham fan. Forest fan, but you right. know they get those fan columnists who write throughout right, the season. Right, 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 right. Uh, I've never seen anything yeah. like it. Nottingham's what? What do they say about Nottingham? Is it a city? Uh, <laughs> it's known for its grandeur and history. And gun crime. I think he's more controversial than me this week. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, huh? Uh, knife crime as well. Anyway, Blackburn, <laughs> Blackburn against Charlton is, uh, is your next, another championship pick. Yeah, I've swerved League One altogether. Um, I mentioned earlier I'm, I'm not too confident, but this is probably my favourite pick of the three. Um, Blackburn have hardly been in the news since Steve King was dismissed. and yeah. I think you, if you were asked on the street ten people if they could tell you who the Blackburn manager was these days, <laughs> you'd struggle to yeah. find people who, who, who named Gary Bowyer. And he's uh, settled things down at Ewood Park, whether it's him or behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, things are looking promising. Oh, Shabby. <laughs> <laughs> the chickens. <laughs> Especially at home, though. Uh, frustrating last minute loss at Wigan last time out. Uh, Grant Hanley was sent off and they conceded in the last second. Um, but he'll be banned from this, but I think there's plenty of promise in taking 19-20 to 20 on them to beat Charlton. Uh, Jordan Rhodes should be back um, from injury, of course he missed Scotland's game in midweek. They've won three, drawn one, lost one at home, won six of seven uh, at home against the bottom six teams and actually have win-win double results in five of those six wins. 
they took Barnsley and Bolton apart convincingly at Ewood. Uh, they scored 16 in the last eight now and kept back-to-back -back home clean sheets. And uh, a Charlton team I've mentioned before, I do expect to struggle and be in the bottom six. Just the one win uh, in the league this season, 1-1 one, one drawn four, lost five. Uh, taken just two points from all five away games, conceded at least two goals in four of those five. They've actually failed to score now in three of the last four fixtures, so I think Rovers are excellent value at 19 to 20. Yeah, I miss Steve Key. I mean, you know, he was, <laughs> he was good value, man. He was, he especially if you see that YouTube video of him. What a guy. What a guy. Yeah, Even the he's fight. actually in the, in, the, in the betting for the Berry job, as we Is speak. He? I think he's God. third or fourth. I think he deserves another <laughs> chance. I really do. Just for <laughs> the <laughs> entertainment <laughs> point of view. It's great. I, I did. Protests were brilliant. There was a dog. Oh, yeah, the dog. <laughs> you love the dog. The dog who was dressed up as uh, Keen Out, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's cruel. But anyway, uh, the third and final game from League Two Accrington against Oxford. Yeah, predictable here, and I'm breaking my golden rule for football league betting. Um, I'm backing an away team at odds on. Oh. Um, I know. Uh, they're 19 to 20, though, shade of odds on. and. Uh, it's not just because they're away at Accrington, it's because of their stunning away form. If you've not picked up on this before, it's, it's worth looking into. Um, Oxford have won four, drawn one away in League Two this season. Uh, they won six of 11 league matches overall in, in League Two, and that away record is 1 12 of 17 further back away from home. Uh, last season they won seven of 11 uh, away to the bottom 9 2. Um, Accrington have improved slightly, they've scored four of their last five. Uh, but they're still on the wrong end of results. They've, they've drawn three and lost eight of their 11 games now. And at home, they've picked up just one point from five games. Um, not a huge amount of difference, I think, between League Two teams, but mm. Accrington are, are far, far and worse. They're definitely the worst yeah. team in the division. Um, so I'm going to be brave and, and back a team that holds on away from home against Accrington. Ooh, Willie Duncan did that in Scotland. It cost him badly. Well, he's oh, he is. But yeah, but let's hope Mark can reverse the trend. He's not feeling confident this week. Let's hope he's wrong and he gets three out of three.